Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elaine. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, it's some Ubering facts I wanted to talk about for a little while. I just dropped off an order, so I decided I would um I would um talk to you guys for a few about some good points about Ubering and some bad points because it's not all uh, if you're not if you haven't done it before delivering to people and dealing with customers is not as easy as you may think first of all if you need quick money like real money this probably isn't for you because if your trips you gotta do so many trips per day in order to get a nice check at the end of the month or if you need I mean end of the month end of the week or if you need um money daily you know gas money or food money or whatever the case may be whatever your hustle is about um just understand it's not gonna be one or two things and you get your money it might be many trips before you get the quota you're actually going after that's why i built mine up through the week yesterday um uh, after i got i think after you get so many tips from your customers Oh, Uber sends you like a congratulations. So I wanted you guys to see that. I don't know if you can see it really good, but it says this just shows that your um customers appreciate you. So it basically just says, you know, keep doing what you're doing. And if you want to continue that, uh, you know, make sure that when you do a pickup, everything that the customer ordered as much as you can make sure that they have everything they paid for that helps with your tip as well okay so on the good side that this is definitely quick easy money especially for uber eats um because you can go on anytime you want as long as you want you don't have to schedule like a shift or whatever and um you can make a couple of dollars so that's a definite bonus uh the tips the tips are pretty good they are really pretty good but you must understand that in order to get these tips you have to um in order to get these tips man, people don't want to let you in and in order to get these tips you have to um be friendly um cordial and like i said just be an advocate for them when you go pick it up if it says that's why you scroll on your uh, scroll on their name and hit the little three dots and it'll tell you what they order so that way if it's supposed to be a drink and they're busy they may not give you the drink it's always gonna be something so I try to ask like is everything in the bag especially if the bags are um closed sorry I'm out of breath I have walked <clears throat> this lady's order a couple of blocks because it was just easier to go ahead and walk it okay also if you register your car with uber make sure you're in that particular vehicle and make sure it's you even if you partner up and go with somebody let's say um you go with a you know a partner or whatever and you want them to run the stuff to the customer or run in the store or whatever sometimes they will document that it wasn't you i almost got kicked off of uber for that and it, i was there but i had help so i figured i would take the help no that may not work so oh sorry sorry baby with that being said just remember to um, be the one that they see because they put your picture in the store and they got your picture on their phone so it's better for you to it's better for you to um be the one it's better for you to be the one that they um see and interact with okay that that definitely is a pro okay now there are some interesting parts of this because the opposite side of that is customers i don't care if it's full clothes whatever it is customers can challenge you and with this what i've experienced and everything that i'm saying is what i personally experienced not what i heard what i have experienced myself and i just did it again okay this is what they do they'll order the food you pick up the food and this is what happened to me the other day and I know I'm gonna get a little animated so just excuse me but she had me pick up the food at McDonald's I go to McDonald's and I pick up the food from the time I pick the food up she says she sends me a text that says sorry so sorry so I'm 
looking at it and I'm driving so I'm like wait a minute let me pull over because I don't understand why she would be apologizing well the reason she's apologizing is because she ordered the food with her old address and then she said she didn't know how to fix it so I said well where are you she said excuse me she says oh, blase 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 she in another I don't know if they call these little towns or whatever. But anyway, it's not where she told Uber she was, okay? Or where she's registered. So she said, well, what should I do? Once I text the address, well, I put the address in my other app, and that's another um, video I'm gonna talk about. It's another app that I really, really, really love this app. Okay, so I put it in the, my app, and instead of it being one mile as what I was being paid for it was she's nine miles away that's a huge jump jump it's not like she's two three miles difference and even if she was I still would have did what I ended up doing because she said well what should I do I said lady you gotta call the people you gotta call uber so I have the food now it's this big issue so I, I figure Uber's gonna make me do it just adjust it or whatever whatever but put it this way she was supposed to pay me five dollars she knew that she ordered from her old address she knew it so instead of her fixing it she decided she would wait for me to pick up the food and then tell me oh well I'm not there but can we work something out once uh, she called Uber, I don't know what she said to them, and I don't know what he, they said to her, but they sent me a text and said, cancel the order, and I could throw the food away if I choose to. Okay, so much for that. You know I wasn't throwing no food away. If you know me, you know I was not throwing no food away. But the order was canceled. She was out. I didn't even have any way to, you know. I wouldn't have done it anyway. But I, I would have done it if Uber adjusted the rate because I would have made more for going that kind of distance but since she didn't want to pay that they ended up just squashing the order or whatever so I had me some free food that night thank you okay uh, that that part was the only bonus of this because that's not the first time that happened it's actually the second time it happened the first time I went on on my own and took it and she threw me a little couple of dollars extra for doing it but heads up if you are doing a a pickup and then they contact you after that then you have them contact uber and then because that's the only way you want to get paid you're not going to get paid uh, any other way except through a tip and then they don't even have to throw you a tip that could just be trying to be slick i don't know but all i know is through the company that's how the distance and the amount of food that you get sometimes it's a large order you get extra or whatever but you have to be it has to be adjusted I told her that so heads up yeah if they change anything in the midst of you getting the food to the customer and then something like that happens tell them to call Uber and get it straight before you go any further pull over and sit it out it's worth it rather than trying to go through the theatrics you know what I just tried what they try to put me through okay another thing um, that they do I went to uh, do a pickup and I get out the car and another uber driver was there but his phone kept saying that he was at the wrong store and that either he need to cancel the order or he needs to go to the right store but he was at the right store so then he told me go in and try you go in and try so I went in and it said I was at the wrong store or cancel the order so I had already had this problem with that same exact store before maybe a month ago so I told the guy I said you remember me I was here and I went through the same exact thing I had to write down the people's address and get hurry up and get them the food but that was the problem was I didn't get paid for that and even when I got on the phone they knew that I had completed that transaction but because my phone froze they really did not document it because I actually went off Uber site and delivered the food so I really didn't get paid for it so I said I'm not doing it anymore so if that happens and your phone freeze or say you at the wrong store and you know you didn't check you know you're at the right store 
shut your phone off and let it restart and then it should act better because I've had that more, not just at that restaurant I also had it at another restaurant it's rare but it does happen okay if another thing your money might not load as quickly as you would like it to load so like you're watching it watching it watching it or whatever and then all of a sudden you'll see it go kind of faded or you know you're waiting for your money and it's not coming up don't worry about it it is coming they always have a document sometimes they'll say that they are really in a heavy load area or whatever and don't worry about it they're gonna pay you and then it usually it's no problem I haven't had any problems with that part I'm trying to think what else Excuse me for looking down. I did write down some notes. Oh, okay. Here's another thing. Never, ever, ever, if you having a problem or an issue, contact the customer from your private line. When you are on an Uber run, they can call you through the Uber app. You can call them through the Uber app. Do not go off of that app and call on your own or ask for the number and call on your own. Never, ever do it. Because what will happen, just like when she canceled, when they ended up canceling the other day on that order, if she had my private line, she could call me and say, well, you know what, I'll just throw you a couple dollars. No, this is business and that's my personal line. I don't combine the two. Never call these people offline. You don't call customers through your personal line. You call them through the Uber app. And the only way you do that is when you're in the midst of a transaction while you're handling, once you agree to pick up their food, immediately you'll see what restaurant to go to. Once you pick up the food and you have signed that you um, got the food, then you turn around and they'll give you their phone <clears throat> through the app and when you get there, you can text if you're having trouble finding them or whatever, you can call. But whatever it is, it's all done through the app. It's very safe that way. I would never want these people to have my private number for any reason. So just remember that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, okay. Last but not least, guys. If you pick up the food, and I've had this. I did a 15-minute ride. Uh, I guess about a month ago, I did a 15 minute ride to deliver the food and the person didn't answer me. So I sent them a text that I'm there. That gives them, you know, a heads up or whatever, come down or give me some instructions. I didn't get any sound and then any, no response. So then I call, no response. So I text again and I call and then I wait seven minutes I believe it's supposed to be so when they did they never came to the door never answered the phone I'm just sitting there sitting there sitting there and I feel like time is money I already wasted all that time I had to go to the restaurant get the food a 15 minute ride so this was a whole half hour had blown easy so then I call it's a little text on the top when you're doing a delivery and it says if you can't reach this person press this button so I pressed the button and um, lo and behold, Uber calls them for you. So now this gets them involved. So when they call, they give them seven minutes. So they ask me, you know, sit tight as they're trying to reach the customer. It's ring, 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 ring. So I guess the seven minutes was up almost up so i go ahead and put my little seatbelt back on because i'm about to go i usually take the food back if it's something like that because sometimes something came up i might take the food back if i had that kind of time so um right as i was about to pull off the guy calls me through the app he calls and he's like yes let me know when you're here i said i am here i've been here i've been trying to call you i've been trying to text you sir no answer so he comes down and he must have fell asleep but at the end of the day you're not supposed to spend a lot of time on this they call and order the food so they know food's coming so i don't understand what happens in between the time you call i pick it up and i bring it to you but i'm not waiting a whole hour to get that resolved like i said i was on my way back to the store which I really didn't want to do. But I believe that they tell you how to handle it. And they'll tell you cancel it, throw the food away. Because at the end of the day, Uber being paid, I get paid. They not worried about it. You don't want your food, that's fine. You know what I mean? So it's just some hints to help you 
understand that it's not perfect, it's not easy, but a little kindness, a little patience, and uh, greetings go a long way. When people feel like they've been in your way, they paid to have the service, why would I make them feel like they're in my way? You know, I'm always cordial and I'm always friendly, and it helps a lot. I don't uh, drive people, I just pick up the food, I deal with Uber Eats, that's my preference. If you have a different preference, just remember that you have to have uh, extra patience, put all of that in there, and uh, just buckle down and realize that you're dealing, this is a business, this is your business, at certain times you're going to have to be uh, extra to tolerating or whatever. Anyway. I hope this helped you guys. Show me with a thumbs up, comment below. I'm also going to put my referral number if you want to join Uber under me. I would love it. We can make some money together. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit Ring that bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.